how to pronounce the Greek letters he, psi, and omega. He, psi, ke, omega. There is no exact English equivalent of the Greek letter he. It is usually represented with the pair of letters CH. When it is followed by an E or E sound, it is pronounced as HE. It is like the HE in the German NICHT, meaning NOT, or the H in the English word HUGE, H-U-G-E meaning big. In these Greek words, the he is followed by an e sound made by the combination of alpha and yoda, so the words are pronounced here and herede. Both mean rejoice. The first here is said to one person and herede is said to more than one person. It is plural. They are often used as a greeting. It's like saying hello to someone. Both words are found in the Greek New Testament and they're from the verb hero. I rejoice. These same words are found in modern Greek. In the dialect of Greek Cypriot, you may hear them pronounced as shere and sherede. In this Greek word, the he is followed by an e sound made by the combination of the epsilon and yoda. It is pronounced hir, hir, e hir means hand. It is feminine, so it is e, e hir, hand. In this Greek word, the he is followed by an e sound made by the letter eta. It is pronounced hira, hira, e hira. This is another feminine noun and it means widow, hira. When he is followed by an a, o, or an u sound, or by a consonant, it is pronounced like the he in the Scottish way of saying loch as in the Loch Ness Monster, or the German way of saying the musician's name Bach. It sounds much stronger than in the previous examples. The first word here is Charis, Charis, e Charis. This is a very important word and it means grace. Charis. The second word is choros or choros. This is a masculine word, choros, and it means dance. The third word is another noun, a masculine noun, and it is chus or chus, and it means dust, dust. The fourth word is extremely important. It is Christos. Christos. It is masculine, so it is O Christos. O Christos. And of course, this is Christ. It means the Messiah, the Anointed One. Christos. Pronunciation of the Greek letter Psi. In English, it is represented by the pair of letters PS. 
it is pronounced psi, psi, just like the ps in the word lips. The first word is psihi, psihi. It is a feminine noun, therefore it is e psihi. It means soul or life. If there's a native speaker near you, please don't pronounce it like the Erasmian way, which is psu k. He or she won't understand what you are saying. The proper pronunciation is psihi. The first part of the word psychology comes from psihi. In English, the p is not pronounced, but the Greeks always say psi, even if it is the first letter of the word. The second word is psevdos. Psevdos. It is a neuter noun, so it is to psevdos, and it means a lie, a falsehood. The English word pseudo comes from this word. For example, pseudonym. A pseudonym is a false name. Some authors use a pseudonym because they don't want to reveal their real name. Pseudos, pseudos, a lie, a falsehood. Pronunciation of the last letter of the Greek alphabet, omega. It is pronounced just like the letter omicron. Both make an o sound. O. A few thousand years ago, the letter omicron represented a short o, hence its name o micron, a little o. And omega indicated a long o. Omega, a long o. Omicron and omega are not pronounced like o, like the o in the word go, but they are pronounced o. The first word is o on, o on. It is a neuter noun, therefore it is to o on, and the plural is da o a. In some villages in the mountainous region of Cyprus, they still use this word rather than the modern Greek word avoir. In mainland Greece, of course, you will hear the word avoir and in most of Cyprus, but in some places they still say or on for an egg. The second word is os, os, and it means as or like. I know there is a rough breathing mark above the omega, but ignore it. Do not put an H in front. It is not hos, it is Os, os. The third word is ode, ode. It is not hode, but it is ode, and it means here in this place. The modern Greek word for here is ode, but read backwards. It is edo, edo. However, in a few villages in Cyprus and parts of southern Italy where a dialect of Greek is spoken, the word ode is still used with the same meaning of here. Now we come to our last word. This word also has not changed over thousands of years. It is ora and it means hour. In fact, the English word hour comes from aura. It can also mean time in general, any defined period of time, 
some specific time, right time, or time for something. The modern Greek word for now is tora. Its origin is from the dative diora tafti, at this time. Ke tora irthe i ora na delioso. Ke tora irthe i ora na delioso. Ke nin ilthen i ora Deliose. And now the time has come to finish. Hipsy.